slide that up a little bit to me? Okay, we can't shut your sump pump off or we're gonna flood your cellar. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take the discharge from your sump, slide it into this inch and a half pipe, and temporarily it's gonna run the water out to the front yard. Okay. That'll keep us dry over here to do some work. All right, and what's the, the more permanent solution? Well, the permanent solution is fixing this pipe up to your discharge. Okay. Is that just PVC? PVC, but schedule 40 PVC, inch and a half, really heavy pipe. Because what we're going to do is we're going to dig a trench six or eight inches deep, and we're going to put the pipe in with pitch, and that's going to carry the water down to our dry well. Now, what exactly is a dry well? Well, a dry well is a vessel made to accept water and disperse it. So what you look here, you'll see there is no bottom on this dry well. Mm -hmm. So water's going to come in, and this dry well is going to sit on stone. When the water comes in, it's going to go down to the bottom, go down into the stone and into the ground. Okay. Then if we get a real heavy rain and the pump's working and pumping a lot of water, the water's going to start to rise up. And as it does, it's going to go out through these knockouts we put in the side. And that's going to go allow the water to get out in the stone and, and into the ground as it goes. Okay. Now, the final thing we're going to do is put a cap right on the top of it. All right, and, and you said this whole thing's going to get buried. Yep, and that's why we got to dig a big hole. You ready to get started? Sounds good. Okay, Abby, I've laid out an oversized hole. Okay. Well, that's so we can have plenty of crushed stone around our dry well. Now, I'm just going to take this away, and you're going to start digging, okay? All right. Got a lot of good topsoil here, and the reason we're using the top is it's going to make our cleanup much easier when we're done. Great. So how deep are we going here, Roger? The trench only needs to be about eight inches deep. Now, Abby, with the hole dug four feet deep, we're okay. going to fill the bottom with crushed stone. Okay, and what's the stone going to do? Well, it's crushed stone, Abby, and it's going to allow all the water to come out of the dry well and into the soil around it. Okay. You dump that one right in, Adam. What the stone does is act as a drain for the dry well. And okay. We want to keep it from getting clogged by the soil. All right. So what we're going to do is line the pit with this landscape fabric. Great. In our trench, we have our PVC pipe. And that's going to run into the dry well and carry all the water into the dry well. Okay. In order for that pipe to go into the dry well, I have to cut an inch and a half hole. Why don't you just use one of these four inch knockouts? Well, if I did that, we'd have a big hole with space around it, uh -huh. and it would allow debris to go into the dry well and clog it. Okay. Makes if I sense. cut an inch and a half hole, that pipe is just going to slide into it perfectly. Great. Now we can put the drywall in the hole. Let's take and fill around the tank with stone. Okay. Make sure the fabric doesn't slide down into the hole and don't get any in the middle of the tank. All right. From the drywall, we have a run of inch and a half PVC pipe, which runs all the way up to the discharge pipe. What we did is we put a 90 degree angle on the end and stubbed up a riser, which will accept the discharge pipe. But right now, I want to backfill the pipe. All right, Adam, just take and feed the discharge hose through the rubber connector, and then tighten up the hose clamp. There you go. Just snug it up so it can't come out. Now, if so much water goes into the drywall that it can't leach out the sides or the bottom, we have to give it away to come out of the top of the tank. Okay. And that's where this pop-up comes in. It has a little spring in the bottom, and when the water pressure pushes on it, it lifts up. But as okay. soon as that water settles back down in the drywall, it closes so no debris can get in the tank. Okay. And it just sits right on the top. So now we're ready to backfill the tank with soil. Great. Great. This is looking really great, Roger. Yeah, you did a great job. Mm -hmm.